Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Scratch add-ons video. You guys seem to really, really like the last time I made a video about Scratch add-ons, and it was super fun to make. So today, I'm going to be going over some of the new and awesome add-ons that have been added to Scratch add-ons. That's a mouthful. And not only that, I'm going to be doing an interview type thing with Cool Scratcher, who actually works with Scratch add-ons. It's going to be super awesome, so make sure you stick around. Also, make sure you go watch my first episode about Scratch add-ons. It goes over how to get Scratch add-ons and kind of the basics on using it. If you're excited for today's episode, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing and leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it, but let's just get right into this video. Okay, so as you guys know, if you watched my first episode, all you need to do to access Scratch add-ons is clicking on the thing here, and this is just like the quick quicker. I, I can't speak today. This is like the quick click. This is like the quick way to get to scratch add-ons. And then if you click on this cog, it'll bring you to the settings page. Now this is where you can kind of full screen look at all the different add-ons. And there's like a ton of add-ons. All right, so let's go over some really cool new add-ons. First of all, we have color picker inputs. And if you go ahead and click on this drop down, it'll kind of talk about it a little bit. So this just allows you to set an exact value for each slider in the costume editor color picker. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn that on and show you what it means. So as you can see here, if I go into the costume editor, there's now an input for all the colors. You can just go ahead and type in the exact color value for that slider you want. And that is actually really cool. Another new one that they added is horizontal tabs on my stuff. All right, so I'm in my my stuff on my shared projects tab. And as you can see, there's just a little like tab for all the different sections like trash and all projects. But if we turn on that add on, you can see that immediately all those tabs go to the top of the screen and that looks really clean and nice. And that's just another cool way to view all of your scratch projects. And then there's a new one called live form post preview. It automatically shows a preview when you stop typing while writing or editing a form post. I've never actually made a form post, so I'm sure that's useful. Another Another new addition to the old add-ons is customizable block colors. This one's really cool. If I turn this on, you can actually change the color of all the blocks in the forms and in the editor. Say if I wanted the motion block to be green, I can do that. Not only that, you can actually change the colors of the editor. I think this is new since my last video. They've had several updates, like five or something since my last video. Not all of them have like the new tag, but I'm pretty sure that this is a new thing. And you can actually hover over these things and it'll show you what it affects. So like down here, if I hover over the page background, it'll make it highlight in this preview. So that way you can kind of see what you're affecting. But all these little buttons and tabs, you can actually change it color. So if I hover over this, that's the highlight color. So like the select and stuff. I could make this red if I wanted to, and maybe the nav bar should be yellow. How oh, beautiful. And as you can see, if I go to scratch, my monstrosity has come to life. Ugh. I'm just going to turn that off. Another really useful one that I have on that I think is new is do not automatically run duplicated blocks. So if you've been using scratch for a while, you know that when you duplicate a code chunk and then put it down, sometimes it'll actually run the block of code and it gets really annoying. So if you have the do not automatically run the duplicated scripts block, when I duplicate it, as you can see, it just doesn't run the script. Okay, so now on to the end interesting part of the video, the interview with Cool Scratcher. Hello, my name is Cool Scratcher, but you can call me Mohit or just CS, that's like the abbreviated version. And I'm a dude, <laughs> I'm basically this person who does a lot of stuff for Scratch add-ons. I'm sort of the person behind all of the videos that you see on the Scratch add-ons YouTube channel. Okay, here, basically almost all of the videos here on this YouTube channel, I'm behind almost all of these, except for this one, this one, this one. I started 10 months ago. With a few exceptions, I basically make every single video. Now I have a few questions about Scratch add-ons, and who would be better to answer them than the face of Scratch add-ons, Cool Scratcher. So my first question for Cool Scratcher is, what is your favorite add-on in Scratch add-ons? What is my favorite add-on? Okay, that's hard because first of all, there are like a bajillion and two add-ons, a lot of good ones. Yeah, this is like extremely tough to choose from. I think out of all the ones that I use the most often, they would have to be the developer tools because I haven't been with Scratch add-ons since the start, but I have been through all the histories of like the other extensions that Scratch add-ons includes. But this is one that I used way before I used Scratch 
add-ons and I loved it. And Scratch add-ons sort of made it even cooler. Oh, and I use a dark mode one. And a few versions ago, there was this really cool update which lets you customize it even more with like your own theme. And the debugger is also when used properly, the debugger is awesome. My second question is, would you talk about some of the new add-ons? Well, actually, anybody can really do this by going over to GitHub, going to Scratch add-ons slash Scratch add-ons. You know, this is just a GitHub repository. Over in the pull requests, this is where you get to see a lot of the future add-ons that may or may not make it into Scratch add-ons. If they're not going to make it into Scratch add-ons, they're going to make it into Nightly or Beta. So don't know what those things are. Head over to the Discord server, over to Nightly, and just check the pins to read more about Nightly. So yeah, basically Nightly is like the pre-beta state of development, which is add-ons that may or may not make it into the stable version of Scratch add-ons, and Beta is like after that. You can see that there are a ton of things. Some of these have been going on for literally months like this one may 19 the more recent ones are the ones that are probably still being discussed the x just means that not completely checked out and finally are there any add-ons in development and if so would you give some sneak peeks of them i literally just answered that <laughs> yeah just check the pull requests click this label like okay, type in don't click add-on and bam over here and alternatively you could install nightly click on the nightly tester check the pins grab this and here here is the latest nightly release and it's a fork of scratch add-ons it's not actually meant to be scratch add-ons itself it's just more of a test version just install it here code download zip unzip click load unpack and choose the thing so it's all accessible to you i don't even need to spoil anything okay so yeah thank you um <laughs> Uh, thank you, Shift Learn, for letting me be on your little show thing on YouTube. Um, it has been great. I, d I hope this is okay. I hope I it was not too chaotic. I am not. See, I'm really frazzled and kind of nervous since I'm used to the Scratch add-ons audience. I have not interacted with the Shift Click Learn audience, like, ever. I'm long overdue to stop talking. Ow. Ow, I just hit my headphones. Okay, uh, bye. I want to give a huge thanks to Cool Scratcher for collaborating. I want to give a huge. Oh my. I want to give a huge thanks to Cool Scratcher for collaborating with me. Make sure you go subscribe to the Scratch Add-ons YouTube channel and to mine. Also, download Scratch Add-ons. This video was a bit crazy to make because a lot of interesting things happened while trying to make it. Cool Scratcher and I may have went slightly insane. Now I need to figure out how to piece it all together. Then I imported it into DaVinci to try to edit his clip, and this is what happened. It just gave me an error that the media was offline even though nothing was wrong with the video and then I re-downloaded it and it still didn't work. Insert clip of me and Cool Scratcher trying to figure out what went wrong for the next two hours and nothing was wrong with the video because I could play it just fine but it didn't work in DaVinci and the true hero of this story is my dad because he found an article to help fix this issue and I think the issue had something to do with like variable frame rates or some weird stuff. I had to download a bunch of stuff and do some file hackering. Then I think this is about when I went insane. And then the hacker thingy conversion worked. And I could actually import the video into DaVinci Resolve to edit it. Hit the like button to restore our sanity. Anyway, this has been Owen and I am out.